I'm coming back. Remulac, Remulac, Remulac. <laughs> it can't happen here. It can't happen here. I'm telling you, my dear, that it can't happen here. Because it's that they would freak out in Washington, D.C. Susie. Yes. Susie Cream Cheese. This is the voice of your conscience, honey. I just want to check one thing out with you. Susie, Susie Cream Cheese, my darling. What's got into you? Express yourself. romantic part of our program. I knew you'd be thrilled about that. Now look here. There's a good reason why a person such as myself would sit on this ugly little gray stool clutching a pair of white cotton underpants. You're probably wondering what it is. Well, it doesn't matter whether you know what I'm saying to you or not. Just think that you understand what I'm talking about. All right, now look. The universal language, ladies and gentlemen. Just pretend that you, each and every one of you out there, is a teenage German girl that works in a boutique. You know what I mean? And because you work in the boutique, you're, well, just so much more highly evolved than a regular, ordinary German teenage girl, you know, that might work as a secretary. The boutique German girls, they're really well-dressed, you know, and so well-groomed, but deep down conservative. You understand what I'm saying? Never mind. Anyway, you are one of those little German boutique women, and you have this very boring, miserable personal life. You know? Then one day, the good news arrives. Yes, a famous and exciting rock and roll personality from England is coming to your city. Oh boy, you say to your little boutique type self, I'm going to go down to the rock and roll concert and get an English pop star to fuck me. And so, after sucking your way through all of the road crew, including the truck drivers and the bus driver, in order to get that all-important backstage pass, you finally manage to abduct the succulent English pop star of your choice and take that miserable, wretched son of a bitch back to your very own boutique girl type teenage bedroom complete with one Jimi Hendrix poster three sticks of patchouli incense one government issue red bulb two slightly used Eagles albums and a Todd Rundgren cassette that's right you have all these things because you're a teenage boutique girl aren't you 
All right, you got the scene, you know what's happening now. The English pop star comes back to your miserable little boutique girl type room. You put on both of the Eagles albums and the cassette all at the same time just to get the right atmosphere. Nothing can go wrong. This is your night of nights. This is the big one. This is true rock and roll romance. The English pop star of your choice takes off his little English satin shirt and his little English feather boa and his little English pants and his little tiny English shoes and he puts them on the side and there he stands totally naked and English until he removes three of his very important and highly Oh, never mind. He takes three of the safety pins out of his English face and puts them there on the dresser. You, of course, being a German boutique girl, take off your German boutique girl type boots, German boutique girl type pants, German boutique girl type brassiere, German boutique girl type sweater, German boutique girl type plastic hat, and then, of course, your German boutique girl, white cotton underpants <laughs> with a little brown skid mark right in the bottom. All right, oh. Okay, then you lay back on your teenage bed and you stick your teenage legs up in the air in the universal gesture of greeting. He jumps on top of your little pulsating teenage body. He puts his pop star lips up next to your little teenage girl type ear. He looks deep into your eyes. His head is constructed in a peculiar manner which allows him to do this. And he's still whispering in your ear. And he says, I'm in you. That's right. Now listen to this. Don't listen to that part. You can't always have everything. They can't always be watching for these bad cues. A lot of these American groups come over here, they have little or no skill or no concentration, you know? You can't expect a perfect show every time, it's not in the cards. I have been in you, baby. You have been in me. And we have been so intimately entwined. And it sure was fine. In you, baby, you have been in me, and so you see, we have been so together. I thought that we would never return forever. been in and out of you and everywhere you want me to though it's true and while I was inside I might have been a big goodbye and that is maybe why you cry I don't know Maybe so, but what's the difference now? Oh, little girl, there ain't no time to wash your stinky hand. Go ahead and roll over. I'm going in you again, in you again, in you again. I'm going in you again.
little girl. I told you I was going in you again. And it's a good thing I told you because you seem to have been totally unprepared for the fuzz tone lick, let alone the vocal intro. We have to be prepared at all times. We never know when it's going to be necessary to go in again. Do you read me? That is why it's important to remember at all times that insertion is inevitable. And so, my dear, in the words of Winston Churchill, I'm going in you again, baby, you can go in me too. Yeah, he was a pervert. I'm going in you again, baby, and later when we get through. One time with a cigar. I'm going in you again, baby, or you can go in me too. I mean you. I'm going in you again, baby, and later when we get through. I'm going in you again. 